Eric Erickson is here, national syndicated radio host, author of the conservative movement's smartest newsletter. And Eric, the good thing about having you on is not only do we get a phenomenal guest every time we have you, but we get also a great segment because I listen to part of the show uh, earlier in the day and then we get to do it on television. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank, thank you. What, what is it about Donald Trump that has this huge outsized place in the media's mind? We put up the quad box of, of everybody yesterday covering the indictment, but then when it came to covering the speech, the big cable networks, CNN and MSNBC included, didn't take it. You know, they live in a different world. Uh, they live in a world where it, it's more cloistered surrounded by like-minded people who tend to think the same things uh, socially, politically. Uh, they, they tend to be Democrat, and they have a deep disdain for Donald Trump because he's unlike any Republican they've ever encountered in the past and is also the Republican who has turned on them. You know, in the past, you could get a Dan Rather interview with George H.W. Bush, where he attacked the then vice president running for president. And uh, you may have George H.W. Bush uh, push back gently, but Donald Trump throws rhetorical punches back. They, they don't like him doing to them what they did to him. Uh, they've never had a politician do that, so they have a hard time processing it, except through the cloistered lens of the Democrats they hang around with, that he is some uniquely terrible phenomenon. So this is Jake Tapper yesterday, um, right after the indictment, the very first words that President Trump, former President Trump, spoke after the indictment. Um, Soundbite number two. Take a listen. Government documents that we have and for obstruction of justice, along with Walt Nauta who is charged with intentionally setting up lies, despite whatever may be going on in that restaurant. This case isn't going to be settled legally in a cafe. It's going to be settled in the court based right, so on the, the facts and law. The folks in the control room, I don't need to see any more of that. He, this, he's trying to turn this in. He's trying to turn it into a spectacle, into a campaign ad. That's enough of that. All right. The, the dot, dot, dot to that is, if you are so offended by Donald Trump, why do you spend so much time putting him on television and talking about him? Yeah, no, full disclosure, Jake's a friend. I, I think the world of him. I, I also think that at CNN, they're struggling to come to terms with the fact of how do you deal with him. And, and personally, I think that if you think he's that bad, stop giving him oxygen. Because if Donald Trump is the existential wildfire, if you don't give him oxygen, the fire goes out. And yet, because of ratings and because, frankly, liberals like watching him be indicted, look at MSNBC's ratings in the last few days. This is kind of a fan fiction for them. Uh, they do give him more oxygen, and it's a sick symbiotic relationship. Trump feeds off the hate from the media. The media feeds off the hate to Donald Trump. So the dot, dot, dot that we, we go from here is Donald Trump is now the leading candidate for the Republican nomination. There's no way to get around that. And there seems to be a feeling of if we can just convince uh, Republicans that Donald Trump's bad, suddenly they're going to stop supporting him. Uh, that, that has not happened. And I, I guess no. the question to you, because you, you live in this world, is – what will Republicans tolerate? And when they see CNN and MSNBC shellacking Trump and sort of making fun of him, doesn't that just make this person that they hate more popular with Republicans, even those who don't like him? Yes, it, it does. And, and that's something I've tried to explain to the media for years. The way they approach Donald Trump and expect everyone else to actually helps Donald Trump. For a Republican to move beyond and around Donald Trump, they're going to have to be willing to praise what he did as president and then also say, but in this situation, he handled this poorly or they've got him. They're going to keep indicting him. There's no way he can beat Joe Biden. Now, the media won't like that because you're saying nice things about what Donald Trump did as president, but you're not going to get his supporters to move on from him unless you give him the, the head pat, acknowledge what he did, but explain to them for his own good, you must move on from him to someone who can pardon him. The media will abhor that, but to do the media's approach just helps Donald Trump, and the media doesn't understand that. I'm wondering if they don't understand or if it's almost like a drug. They just can't, they can't quit it. They like the ratings more, but that, that, that's psychology rather than journalism. We do journalism here. You know, Eric, it's good to see you as always. We appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation 
on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.